Ifechi. Ifechi. Ifechi, wake up. Girls. I never realized it was this early. I'm not meant to be going back to the campus. Live the king of our kingdom. Thank you. <laughs> Sit down. Now you're all going back to campus today. I hope you're all ready for your studies. It's your graduating year, right? Good. Very good. Now, as you're graduating, I want you to graduate not just with degrees, I want you to also graduate with wives. Oh yes. You see, both of you are old enough to get married. And you, my son, you are a prince. You need a life partner. Now I want you to go out there and get yourself an elegant and proper woman from a noble family. You bring her to this palace and I will bless the two of you and it will be well with the two of you. And uh, by the way You're 26, and I haven't seen any woman around you. I, I hope all is well down there. Everything is well, Father. The ones I've seen just haven't met my requirements yet. Greetings to all. Long live to the king, wisdom to the prince, simplicity and joy to the best friend of the prince, and plenty of dogs to play with to also the jester and palace personal assistant to the prince. Also, can you take the bags to the car outside, please? And go and wait in your room. Why are you frowning? You are not coming with me to the city. Go to your room and I'll wait my return this weekend. Huzzah! <laughs> anyway, my son, back to the topic. You just said that um, all the women that you come across don't meet your requirements. What are these requirements? I seek a woman who is good and simple, easy to understand, 
one who will not pretend or lie to me, one who would love me the original way and not love me because I'm a prince. No, my son, do not ask for such a girl. Such a girl is not fit for you as a prince. See, what you need is a deep and mysterious woman. A woman that is elegant, elegant enough to attain the patience with. Anyway, um, that will be another topic for another day. You have to be on your way now. And farewell. And uh, you, Ifechu, I want you to put your eyes on my son. Do not allow any undeserving woman to go near him. But when you see a woman that is elegant, is deep, is mysterious, and from a noble family, encourage him to chase her. All right, be on your way now. for the grace of light. Good day. Let me introduce myself. The name is Ifechi. And in this present situation, I am the spokesman for the Crown Prince of our kingdom. See him seated over there, watching and loving your every move. He's just a shy guy. You know, so um, here I am, sent by him to to give it a piece of meat. Containing it is his noble handwriting and his phone number. Please, pleasure is mine. Miss Rachel Udumebu Richards. Okay. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Beautiful movie. Hmm. Is your prince as handsome as you are? Even more handsome than I am. But he has a handicap. He's shy. And I like bold men. <laughs> well, okay. I, I'll keep this name and probably call him up later, okay? Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, please do call her. Huh? Okay. then no woman in the world will be good for you. This is all my father's idea. I hope I can deal with it. I hope she's the one I want. Even if she's elegant, let her be an open book to me. Easy to love, easy to understand.
Hello, who's this? You sent me your number. My name is Rachel. Oh, hello. How are you? Can you hear me? Y y yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, oh my God. Do you have a problem talking with women? Oh, no, 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 no not at all. Um, I'm just not used to talking to you, that's why. Can we, uh, can we meet? Uh, I say yes. Okay. Okay, what is your address? Do, do you have a pen? Please, can you hold on? Let me, let me get a pen. Hang on. Come. Is there any problem? Come. Come here. Get in the car for a bit. Come on. Get in the car and sit for a bit. I want to tell you something. I'm going to whisper something in your ears, okay? Stay put. Alone. It is not whether you live here alone that matters or not. What you have done is so wrong. It is harassment. You belong to the prince and not me. I belong to myself and not to anybody. Besides, the prince and I haven't even met formally yet. Just a phone call. Tell me, do you have to lose? I am not a betrayer. The prince is my best friend and I cannot lose his friendship. Wow. He pays you a lot of money. What is his friendship about? It is not about the money. It is about loyalty. It is about trust. And those, my dear, mean more to me than anything you can offer. <laughs> Who said I am offering anything? Just a couple of kisses, you know? Mm. Mm. But I have to love you to kiss you. Kiss you? Mm. 
Kiss me, baby. Kiss me. The love will come. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car, please. God forbid me to get into this car. Listen, okay? Get in the car. I'll do all the explanations to you, okay? Just get in. Listen, you want your friend to be happy, right? So get in the car. Okay, just, just get in. We'll drive down there together. I'll tell him one lie or two thereabout. And he'll be happy. Is that not what you want? Or else I'm going off, okay? I'll drive off and go my way. I have nothing to lose, okay? It's you who will do all the explanations. And it's your precious prince that will suffer the heartbreak of losing me after getting so close enough to grab me. So you're going to tell him that it was you, you, that I preferred and that I made passes at you? If you say that, you get his anger and hatred. You know, princes are proud people. He will never accept his ego that a lady would choose you over him. If you do that, that friendship that you're trying to protect will be destroyed instantly. So you either join me up or you make a choice. It's a choice. I've said enough, okay? It's a choice to join me or not. No, no, no. No, no. Let me call him. Let me just 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 call him. No, no, no. Such a gentleman. Just as he came to get me, my father was on the phone calling from Nice, you know, somewhere in the southern part of France. Anyways, my dad was yelling so loud that I started getting a cold feet about coming in. So uh, I ran to my car and he followed me up, pleading for me to come back and see you, saying things like, Please don't let my prince down. He's my best friend. And he can tell that you love me already. Saying, Rachel, please, please, Rachel. I, I ignored him. I ignored him, got into the car, and zoomed off. Looking through my rear view mirror. He's running after me. Jesus. <laughs> so much love for a friend. I, I, after everything, I still drove off. I, I drove quite a distance and I stopped to reconsider. After a while, there he was again. Started all over pleading and pleading and pleading. Please, Rachel, don't go and all that. And with all that pleading and all that, I had a change of heart and decided to come back here. Okay? Dad is a friend. And a good one. Yeah. Good Look, I think you need a cold glass of water after all that hustling. I really need that that cold water. <laughs> you guys should 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 have one. Oh. Wow. I do really intend to have fun. And I can already feel the chemistry. Between the prince and I already. 
Greetings to the prince of my world, the one who sends his friends to come and get me for him. Uh, no, 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 it was actually my friend who saw you and thought you were good for me, so I, I, um, I, I, I took a good look at you and I concurred. So we followed you to your house and we actually came back the next morning and waited for you till you came out of your gate. <laughs> Fairy tale. That is the way love goes. Just like a fairy tale. You know, some people say, take your time to know each other. But I say, you don't need to know shit. The less you know, the more the mystery. The more the mystery, the more the hunger and the love. You're my prince. So that makes me a princess. I say, Oh, Rachel, Rachel, I love you. I love you so much. You, you know, you made things very easy for me. I was, I was looking for a way to let those words come out of my mouth so that I would convince you to be mine. Oh, I, I feel as if we're a match made in heaven. You know heaven, you know where it is? That's where all the good things happen. Oh, oh, you know what oh, I mean? Uh, yes. No, 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 baby. Why should I punish you when I want you so much? We are united by a common want. Baby, we want the same thing. Okay? Come. There's a heat coming from my body. Okay? The heat is coming. There's a heat coming from my body. Yes. Feel me. Look at what the heat has done. That's the heat. Soul searching for mine and my soul searching for hers. I'm in love already. Of course. I am! I'm in love! Yeah. I'm in love. I mean, she's my life. That is what she is. She is my life. You know, like a new life. Vita Nova. And if it I'd like to use this to just show appreciation and gratitude for, you know, for letting me talk to her that day when we saw her. Oh, her lips. Her lips are so, so, so sweet and soft, like, like a milkshake from paradise. Oh, I wonder when I'm going to lay her. I guess I'll just die when I finally lay her, you know? Oh God, I hope it happens soon. Anyway, she's going to be my wife. She's going to be the queen of our, and I'm going to lay her for the rest of my life. Yes! <laughs> I wish you all the best on this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I just appreciate all the good you've done for me. You know, actually just convincing her to come back after she nearly left when her father called. Thank you. to say what I have to say here. Okay. Rachel, I want you to stay away from the prince. 
You're not good for him. You're not what he needs right now. See, his father has a certain kind of girl in mind for him. I saw your beauty and I thought you would be good for him. But I was wrong. Please, stay away from him. You see this house? Everybody thinks it belongs to my father. But it belongs to me. My fiance bought this house for me six years ago before he vanished to Europe. Since then, I have not set my eyes on him. So I'm a free woman, okay? I do whatever I want, including flirting with your prince as long as I want to, for my personal reasons. He does not want a flirt. He wants a wife. His father wants him to find a wife and bring for him to bless. Wait, 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 wait now. Wait for Rachel to finish talking. Come back. As I was saying, I will flirt with whoever I want to flirt for as long as I want. Sleep with whomever that pleases me within the same period of time, including you. God knows you give me the hard parts. It's not possible. Then I will tell him everything. He's not in for your kind of games. Hmm? Yeah. He will believe you or me. Let's watch out and see who is going to believe. The one with the breasts are born to born. Wait. Watch and see how I'm going to see. Do you see? If he has money, I will get it from him. And if you're interested, I'll give you some, okay? Why? Why are you bent in doing this? What wrong have we done to you? Why are you playing with somebody's heart? You even have a fiance for oh, God's sake, oh, God's oh, sake. Oh, 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 I don't care about my fiance anymore, okay? That's for the reason why I chose your prince. Wait, should I do on my own? Would I come toast me? Carry paper, write number for paper, come give me. Eh? How about, wait now, just wait. I dance for him to finish. I go leave him to rest. I no go cut him. It will still be there till when he finds a wife. Okay? Come on, relax, smile. Okay? Chill. Life is so boring. When sparks like this come around, they don't come every day. We make good use of them. Okay? Don't get me wrong. I like him. I like him more. But well. But I like it too. And I'm so sure if I see his father, the king, I'll like him too. Bruce, don't go and tell him, oh. Don't go and tell him, oh. Because if you tell him, I'll tell him. I'm going to tell him you chased me and I refuse. That's why you're bitter. You better come back here and drink wine with me now. If you come back home. Oh. Look at this boy. See the tattoo you know one time. Mba. Now I try my team because. What is the urgency about? My lord, the prince is here. He said to announce his presence first. The prince, my son, says to announce his presence in his own house. Why? He's not alone, my lord. He came with a maiden. Mm. He came with a maiden. Opi, did you see the maiden? Is she fit to be a princess? Is she fit? to be called a queen someday. I did not set my eyes on her yet, my lord, for she was seated in the car. But if the smile I saw playing on the lips of the prince is anything to go by, then she must be a queen indeed. Mm, Opie, all right. 
go and fetch my son. I am ready to see him and his future wife. Yes, my lord. <laughs> At last. At last. <laughs> My son! <laughs> you have done well. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Igwe! I greet you with the voice of a million maiden voices. Iga Adio! <laughs> Father, this is her. Her name is Rachel. Thank you, Father. You call me Father. Hmm. So do I call you daughter. <laughs> My son, she glows. She is the original daughter of the sun. <laughs> We shall marry her to you as quickly as possible so I can start having my, my grandchildren. <laughs> Meanwhile, take her to your room and get to work as only a prince knows how. <laughs> Since you came into this palace, You've been taking good care of me. It's spoiling me. <laughs> no woman has ever done this. Except, of course, my lovely wife, late wife. But bless us hope. Um, I see you making a good wife to my son someday. <laughs> it makes me glad. To know that the king finds me worthy. Of course. I find you worthy. You see, there is nobility even in the way you talk. When I look at the way you look at the prince, my son, I also see nobility. There is nobility in your carriage. Nobility is in you. <laughs> Yes, I um, I was wondering, I was asking myself when your parents will come back from Europe so they can come around here for a couple of days and spend quality time with us, just as you have done. <laughs> or is your father always busy with work? Yes, and uh, I remember you telling me that Alabar Prince? Yes, yes, he is. Mm. My mom too, she is a princess. Wow. Who descended from the royal lineage of the Gala people. Oh, that's exactly what I want. <laughs> that's exactly what I want. You see, when royalty meets with royalty, royalty recognizes Royalty. And when I say royalty, I'm talking about old money, old money. Not any of these cheap businessmen who stumbled into money 20 years ago, buys himself chief and a title, and now wants to rub shoulders with those of us who have been in the royal lineage for donkey years. Now, I'm not also talking about some thieving politician who embezzles public funds 13 years ago, buys himself a couple of chieftains titles and wants to rub shoulders with those of us who have been running the royal lineage for donkey years. <laughs> you see, I asked this people, 
Where is your lineage? They don't know. Where are you coming from? They don't know. What names do your grandfather and grandmother bear? They don't know. I hate them. That's why they say I'm arrogant. Oh, yes, I am. I tell them I'm arrogant because I'm old money. You see, old money is the real aristocrat. Even if one is broke now. New money is just riches. And of course, there's a difference between royalty and riches. Come, I'll tell you. You see, royalty is in the blood. Royalty is in the genes. You see it spread around. The riches, oh, riches. It's in the pocket and in the banks. When the bank fails, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm speechless. I've learned a lot from all you've mm. seen. You talk with so much greatness, great intelligence so much wit. Yes. I am. Um, I am royalty, sir. So. That is so true. <laughs> to say it. After all, it's you and me. You're going to be my husband to be soon. My friends. Mm. Lottie girl. You know, your, your craziness knows no bounds. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know, baby. I am not crazy. But when it comes to you and I, before we head to the city, okay? But you should know that this is all my savings. So my father really doesn't give me a lot of money. He, he thinks spoiling me with cash will just make me lose focus in life. Can you imagine at this age? Baby, sweetie, your father 
it's still a lovely lovely dad deal okay come on bring your shoulders let me sleep on them and inhale that your luscious sweet Michael is going to give you sweet dreams Prince has given his word. I love the prince even more when he has given his word. I appreciate you back so soon. How was your day? Yes. Where, where is the prince? You guys went out together. Yeah. We went to the bank to cash the check. Guess what? Three million naira. You see? He's bleeding for me already. And if you are a good boy, you're going to get more of this. Of this. You get more of this, okay? Before I dump him. God forbid. Some women are just devils. Was I not on my own? You guys came to chase me. You said you were going to marry me without even bothering to know anything about me. Listen, Rachel is not a good girl. And she has no mercy for guys. Okay? Especially since six years ago when my fiance abandoned me and left me here after doing my marriage introduction. Anyways, God is not going to forbid anything, okay? Because I want you and I have paid you 200000 So, you're going to give it to me the way no man has ever given to me before. Or you just leave. They should leave. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. He's afraid that the prince is going to come back. You see, my dear. He's not going to come back. I sent him to get me a yellow petticoat and a green one too. I insisted because I know it's not easy to find. You see, he wants to please me all the time. And I know he's not returning. Until he finds them, okay? Until maybe evening time or when the shops close. He's not coming back in time soon, okay? So no, come here. Roger, just leave. Come here, baby. Come here. Okay? Yeah, baby. This is my day, okay? Come on! This is my day. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you planning any evil against me? For God's sake. 
Presumably, you're my best friend. How would you think of a thing like that? Look, I had a dream, okay? And in that dream, you and I were competing against each other in a race. And also, my jester was my was actually the referee. So we started the race, and when you realized I was ahead of you, 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 you put your legs in between my legs, and, and I felt just like a pack of cards. <laughs> Because you had a dream, that means I'm planning evil against you. Since when did you start resuming like old and vicious Nigerian politicians who imagine everyone as an enemy to them? Even a dream enemy is a real life enemy to them. Let's leave this thing, get ready and go back to the city. We need to go back to the campus today, you know that. Fetchy, I need you to swear on your life. Swear that you will never be drinking and swear that you will never follow all those people who say bad things about me on campus. I promise, if that will make you happy, I need you to swear. I want that Ifechi castrated. I want him strangled. And that girl, I want her heart ripped off. That heart with which she deceived you and had an affair with, with your best friend under your own roof. I want them punished beyond measure. Father, that's not going to bring my pride back. She told almost everybody on campus that she rejected me and that she chose my friend. Despite the fact that I'm a prince and I lavish there with money which she shared with Ifechi. She's even threatened to lie to the press that I'm a rejected lover and because of that I'm, I'm trying to cause harm between her and Ifechi. So you see, she, she, she says she's going to give me trouble if I go ahead and do it. It's not going to work, father. It's not. If anything happens to those two right now, everybody will trace it back to me. But now, the only option I have right now is to drop out of school because I don't, I don't have the face to go back to campus. Where is that your face you now? I threw him out of my flat. He calls me every time trying to explain rubbish. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what he's trying to explain when I, I, I saw them desperate in their passion. I, I changed my numbers of this morning. What does he have that I don't have, Father? That is the foolishness of women, my son. You know, I had a dream. And in the dream, Ifechi was cheating me. And when I asked him about it, he, he, he swore it was just a dream. Now I know that dreams are not to be ignored. Maybe it was just God's way of showing me signs, but I, I didn't pay any attention. You had such a dream? Why wasn't I told about the dream? See, my son, don't you know that those of royalty are special people? Anyway, um, you have to get this behind you. You have to move on and go back to campus. As for those fools, let the god of kings and queens pay them their recompense, measure for measure. Never, father. Never. If I do not find a school abroad, I'll just stay in the palace here. Besides, I don't really need a degree. I have education to some extent and I can read and write. 
But as for those two, the gods of kings and queens will surely give them their recompense, measure for measure. For me. I want to take a walk and I want you to come with me. Yes, my prince. I feel I was wondering. See, my prince. Why are your hands behind you? Because you keep your hand like this, my prince. That is why I like spending time in these little bushes and farms. Nature is faithful. At the right time, the rain will fall. At the right time, the sun will come out. A volcano will erupt at the right time, and when evening comes, the sun will shut his eyes. Simplicity. I told my father, but he wanted a, a deep and mysterious woman, you know. But she ended up with my best friend. If you Apris, one day you walk up to her and talk to her. Do you think we'll meet her again? Yes, my prince. If this is where she comes to look after her goats, I mean, sweet, we shall come here and watch her. I know you.
Android Mini. Does anybody in the village know of your condition yet? Nobody knows, sir. Except my father. He caught me vomiting this morning and asked if I was too bodied. I've stopped. I've told you to stop using all those terminologies, calling me sir and saying you're too bodied, instead of just saying you're pregnant. Okay. You're done with secondary school now. What I have to do is to take you to university so that you can learn more. Rest. Does he know the prince who lay with you? Does he know I'm the one who took away your maiden head and turned you to a woman? I said no word to anyone. I ran first to you. I didn't want to mention your name until you tell me it's safe to do so. You can call my name a thousand times because I'm in love with you. What you need to do for me is to give me some time to find a good way to, to bring the tidings to my father. Come. No, my lord. I'm too dirty. I have dry sweat all over my body. I came straight for the, from the farm. I had to tell a lie that I was going to ease myself in the bush. And then I sneaked here. I find you clean now. Pure in heart, body and soul. The same way I found you when I stumbled upon you in the open farms and, and I've loved you ever since. I thought you were supposed to be supervising the servants in the royal farmland. Who is this goat keeper that you hold? Alright. It's obvious you now take delight in hugging farm hands and kissing goat keepers. Bringing sheep droppings into my royal palace? What is the son of a lion looking for in the anus of a, of a she goat? You will take her and flog her mercilessly for daring to step her dirty feet in my palace! I brought her here. And you will not have her whipped unless you have me whipped too. Let her go. Run away, rabbit! What has come over you, son? What has come over you? Are there no more wives among the daughters of the noble? She is noble. For as we speak now, my seed is in her womb. My seed is in the womb of the farm girl you call a rabbit. Your seed? No, my son. No. None of my grandchildren will come from rabbits! Not a single one of them.
have chosen you. You don't have to cry. The king wouldn't let us, sir. He caught me a little rabbit only fit for a hole in the ground. It is needless to make promises. Look, I'm the prince. And I'm in love with you, okay? Sh sh shall I not choose whom I love? Yet we'll meet in secret? Sneak around till it's night when no one can see us? Look, I only do that to protect you. My father will seriously harm you if he knows that we are seeing each other seriously. I have to go now, my friends. I don't want my father to wake up at night and find out I'm not laying beside my sister on our sleeping mat where we sleep. Alright, farewell. Let's meet again tomorrow evening. Ozo, escort her to her house. Make sure she's safely inside and return to the palace. Don't let anybody know where you went. speak to my father. What have you done? Has murder not found a place below one as noble, as weird and as honored as the king? Did you do it, father? I'm going to ask you before God what an innocent family did to you to be totally wiped out. Murdered on their poor sleeping things. Murdered in their poor sleep. Robbed of their daily toils in the field to survive. It didn't take you long to find out. Brilliant. It also proves me right in what I have done. It goes beyond that to prove that you have been sneaking out of this palace. You will meet a mate with your rabbit. Hmm? Well, I did it. I did it, boy. And I did it for you. So why don't you take yourself to your bedroom? Find yourself in good sleep. And dream of worthy bosoms of princesses and royalties. 
Allah. Bunny bosoms of rabbits who go about in human clothing. Hmm? And if you don't mind, I'd like to have my rest. After telling them how the parents were murdered. To, to where? To where? Where did she go? They don't know. Just that she told them that she's going to the next border town. That she will leave the country from there. On foot? Does she have any money? They said they raised 5,000 there and that's all they could get for her. Also, let's go look for her. Yes, my prince. like he has an occupant already. Yes, sir. He walks all night and a bit into the morning. Then he returns to the hotel to sleep. He must sleep before he returns to the morning. My lord, why don't we go to another hotel? Hotels are usually booked up on Friday night, sir. You might not get any other one. You take it. Thank you very much, sir. Please bear with us. The water heater in this room is faulty. But if you need hot water, we'll go back in. That won't be necessary. But we'll manage with our cold water. Thank you. Thank you very much. So your your payment, sir. Five thousand naira. 
I was all bringing downstairs. Don't worry. Okay, we're ready. What do you want? Yeah, we're I told you before you lodged in, sir. The, the, the occupant wants his back, sir. So that he allows me to lodge people in it in the night. Um, the money they will go. Um, we'll share the money. Sorry, sir. It's just a little business. Look, well, can you just give us a couple of hours? Let's freshen up. Let's brush our teeth, take our bath, and we can leave the room for you. Uh, uh, my friend, I no agree for that one. I no agree at all. Daybreak came hours ago. You should have carried your things and gone. Look, this is not the first time we are doing this kind of business, lodging people in this room. They don't give us this kind of wahala. Please, you need to leave. I need to sleep now. Young oh, man, may I have you know that you have dressed the prince of our land, hidden among the hills of the east. The tale of the sleeping viper, who when he speaks, is your bed. Mm. A prince in my room. <laughs> I'm really honored, Prince. I'm honored. Mm. Uh, Prince, but may I ask you, what is your mission in town, very far away from your, your kingdom? Excuse me, grab the bags. Also, let's go. I'm getting out of here. Bought the bus for free. 
but she couldn't look at me with her pretty eyes, so I had to let her pay like the rest. You mean you saw her? Yes, yes, I did. I did see her. You saw her today? Yes. Look at her very well. She's headed for Zakibia, the border town of Cameroon. Yes, I saw her. My prince! My prince! My prince! My prince! My prince! This man! My prince! My prince! He, 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 he's so... That's, uh, this is the straight road that leads to Zakibia. How many hours? Four to five, six to seven hours. Too many police checkpoints makes the journey difficult. It's much better to travel at night as if you're not afraid of thieves. You have a nice vehicle. This kind of vehicle attracts thieves on this kind of road. Only God knows if the girl has crossed the border. In that case, the dwarves will make the journey too hard for you. Only God knows if we'll ever find a girl. Maybe never. You see, I advise you turn around, rest all day, sleep. Maybe in the night you, you can get one of the pickup vans at Obola for park. It's much better, you see. Take my advice, please. Everybody wants to rob a prince these days. It's dangerous. It's better to travel as a nobody. How much do you sell this jeep? It is not a jeep. It's a sports utility vehicle. Illiterate man. Baba, you can inspect it if you want, okay? Eh? It's a nice car. Eh? Baba, let me show you. It's a family car. You can try it if you want. Eh? How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Your test is getting better and better. Thank you, sir. The merchandise is good. Better than the last one you brought. You see, the Senate can make as much noise as they want to make about human trafficking, but I don't care. Their noise is not my money. This is where I make my money, and it is my business. What is your name? Fatima. Haruna, where did you catch this one? She looks rich. Sir, she was traveling all alone with her driver. We shot him and got her. What attracted us most to her was the kind of vehicle she was traveling in. A wicked, rugged wrangler jeep. Piece of wonder, sir. <laughs> Who are you? I am a princess from Niger Republic. I came here to trade. And instead of trading, we will trade you. You see? Such is life. 
we are going to trade you for a lot of money and when we sell you you will fetch them a lot of money too in return working as a prostitute in whichever country they will take you to you see better than trading for once your beauty will be put to use Haruna sir I want you to search them thoroughly take every piece of money jewelries that they have on them and take them into the hut to join the orders yes, sir. until we are ready to take them across the borders on a very good day hey, hey, starting from you 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 no you. no sir please, please I can ransom myself I trade in gold I am very rich I can pay you a ransom of over three million naira worth in gold please if you let me go please Are you sick? Haruna, how can you bring me a sick one? How can you bring me a sick merchandise? She will not fetch us any money. She could even die on us. Haruna, where do we have the time to dig graves? Uh, I, I didn't know, sir. My men and I attacked their boss on a lonely road, sir. We set the less stubborn men free and shot the stubborn ones who tried to resist us. We now brought the marketable young women here. The old women. We chased them inside the bush, sir. Haruna, too much long story. Too much long story each time you make mistakes. Sorry, sir. Find out what is wrong with her. I don't want a dying woman among the merchandise. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Sir, please, I'm sick. I'm pregnant. My, my husband is a very rich prince. He would offer you anything if you, if you just let me go, please, sir. Let me ransom her, too. Please, have a heart. She will not be of any use to you. A pregnant woman can never be useful, working as a prostitute anywhere. Haruna, sir. search this woman now. Search her thoroughly. Search her hair, her bag, her clothes, her anus, even her private part, too. She could be hiding good there. And as for the pregnant woman, let her contact her husband, the prince. I want him to pay me lots of money before I can set her free. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. I'm moving. Have you come? Move it! Does your husband, the prince, have a phone? He's not exactly my husband. He, we, we are lovers. He got me pregnant and his family wants to kill me. They killed my family. That's why I'm running away. I'm running across the border, border to vanish away from love. To vanish from him forever. I don't care about your family. I don't want to know your story. This man you call the prince, does he have a phone? Can you reach him? He has a phone. But I've never called him before. I am not permitted to. Well, I am permitting you right now to call him. If you don't, you will die. Do you have the number? Do you have it offhand? Can you call him? I'm sure you're very smart. You look very smart like a bush girl. You know, bush girls are very intelligent and tricky. That is why they can tell from a thousand miles when a man wants to sleep with them. And that's why you opened your legs and got pregnant, right? Come on! 
give me the number, Jaden. Your name is Akibian. Where is your big area? My prince, let's get out there, eat and freshen up. Then we can come out and start looking for him with the photograph. Private number. If it's my father, I'm not talking to him. Hello. Come on. What happened? What is the matter? Obiegeria has been abducted. Kidnappers? They are worse than kidnappers. They're asking for money for her release. They abduct women and children and then sell the children across borders to work as households. As for the women, they turn them into prostitutes. And then they, they just turn them into money-making machines for their owners. Oh, God, have mercy. 